Have you been trying to keep your left arm straight to attain more width in your backswing? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Width in the backswing is something that every golfer strives for. We see the best players in the world with a super wide backswing. What does width actually mean? Well, width is the distance the club head, firstly, is away from your body in a backswing. The second ingredient that people look for in width is how much the hands are away from the body. They are two very different feels. The first one, attaining more width with the club head, is going to give you the opportunity to make the radius of the golf swing far, far greater. But the first caveat to moving the club wider is that you better start to then narrow up the arc on the way down to create more speed down and through the golf shot. The second ingredient of creating width that people strive for is looking for the handle to be further away from us. Let's talk about why that would be a, an ingredient that people are going for. And, and the reason why they go for that is because they believe it creates more turn. More turn in a golf swing, the narrower you are with your handle, the more opportunity a golfer could get the club to the top of the backswing with very little shoulder rotation. All of a sudden, when you now take the handle, not the club head, the handle further away from us, it gives us the opportunity to start rotating the chest more. Why does that happen? Well, the left arm has been seen by many as the ingredient that creates the width in the golf swing for a right-handed golfer. Well, the reality is it's actually the right hand. The right hand is the widening of the golf club because, or the widening of the handle, because it is the lower hand. I could make my right arm super flexed, I could make my left arm super straight, and the gap between the handle and my shoulder could be very narrow. So therefore, the widening of the right hand and the right arm will actually start to make you create more width in your backswing. I'm going to show you a little drill to give you the good sensations of creating more width. What I want you to do, turn and face a wall. When you face the wall, take your right hand, if you're a right-handed golfer, pull it against the wall. Then what I want you to do is stand closer, and then as you stand closer, of course, your right arm becomes more flexed. Then what I want you to do is push, without moving your feet, push your right arm straight. And what you'll start to see is how my chest unravels. Then what I want you to do, keep your hand on the wall and keep the same distance you were away from the wall. And now do the same thing with your arm. Push your right arm straighter. And now all of a sudden, you can see how your right shoulder gets pushed back away from the wall. Not only that, because of that force, it now pushes the energy onto my left foot. Now, if you've seen enough of my golf content, you'll understand the opportunity that that gives us. So by standing to the wall, moving to the side of the wall, pushing your right hip back, pushing your right arm away, you all of a sudden create greater width between the handle and the chest. Let's get back on the mat. So now we've understood what the right arm is going to do for making the right shoulder behave. I want you to take the golf club and go to the top of your backswing and just create your usual backswing. Let's say you're a golfer that has a little bit of hip slide because that is one of the strongest ingredients that causes a narrow backswing. You're gonna make a little hip slide, then you're gonna be a bit short in turn. Then what you're gonna do is you're then gonna go into pushing the right hand away from your chest. Now you can see I've now created more width, but look what it's done to the length of the backswing. It's all of a sudden made it very shorter. If your lower half and your upper half don't move enough, 
your arms will overrun and narrow up the arc to make you feel like you've got a longer backswing. So therefore, when you're trying to create more width, feeling like the right hip gets pushed back, feeling that the right hand now pushes the shoulder more open, now gives you the opportunity to have more hip and shoulder rotation, but now creating the radius in the handle that you were looking for to achieve, which now gives you the opportunity to start to, when you pull on the golf club, because you've got some force moving back over, as you pull and use the right shoulder, all of a sudden we'll have far more opportunity to unravel us around the golf shot. Understanding therefore that the right arm and that push away really gives us the chance to open up the lower half, gives us the chance to open up the chest. This is a very simple feeling of pushing your hand to the right and pushing your shoulder to the left. But of course, if you're a golfer that believes that moving to the right is the way to go, it shuts the hips down, shortens up the chest turn, makes the arm overrun, then what you see is a broken down left arm and then you try to straighten up the left arm. But as I say, you're not really getting to the crux of the error where the upper body and the lower body are not moving around the golf ball enough, which is where the, the push of the right hand comes from. So the pushing of the right hand now gets the golf club handle in front of the chest. And if you were to imagine, and hopefully you don't have to because I'm drawing a line on the screen, a line across my shoulders and a handle out in front of my chest is the same orientation that we have down at address here. Shoulders, handle in front of our chest, top of the back swing, shoulders, handle in front of our chest. But as I say, if I shorten up my turn and my arms then overrun, you can see how this right hand and right arm get sucked behind the shoulder. Then all of a sudden you start to apply rotation. Are you tired of paying too much for premium leather golf gloves? Do go over and check out gxgolfgloves.com. These are premium Cabretta leather golf gloves at a fraction of the price. Trusted by tour players and elite amateurs alike. Do go head over and use my code GOODCOACHING for 10% off your next order. You're in a heck of a lot of strife. So the right arm drill of giving you the chance to feel how that incentivizes your body to move so that when you pull the golf club, you're not only pulling the golf club, but you're now starting to unravel the body all at the same time because you have harmony with handle orientation and chest orientation through the golf swing. Now all of a sudden I've got some width and if you haven't got too much set, you could then start to feel a little bit more download down to the golf ball with lagging and loading the golf club. Nice shot there, Stuart. So the feeling of now width and pull will now start to load your levers, which gives you that chance of unraveling through strike. Hopefully that's made a lot of sense of how width is created, but also why you might not be able to achieve width if you've been focusing on your left arm and not been focusing on your right arm enough. I think you're fine. That's good coaching. See you next time.